Haskell Mountaineers lost a football legend recently, Blackie Bond. And uh, he was a legend in his time. He's very innovative. He was an offensive uh, play genius. And I was lucky to be able to work with him for 20 years. I was a statistician every Friday night with the team. Coach Bond was the guy that we looked up to as we were going through junior high school. I was fortunate enough to play on the very last Rogers junior high team. We were called the Ridge Runners. And uh, we had a great uh, football season that year. I know he came to all of our games and, and watched us play and we played because we knew that he was going to be our next football coach. And so we, uh, we wanted to impress him. He was just that kind of guy. You didn't want to disappoint him. Uh, most folks in Rogers call me Blackie Bond. I, told, I came to Rogers in 1959. I'd, I'd gotten out of the military and uh, I saw in the paper where Rogers had an assistant coaching job open and, uh, at Rogers and then Mr. Lingle, who had, I had been a student of his at Rogers High School and he'd been our superintendent. Matter of fact, I had, uh, he had taught American history that I, a class that I took on and he was, uh, we went from there, we, uh, my job was, uh, I had uh, four uh, social studies classes and a, a one PE class. And How I met Coach Bond was in 1988. Uh, he was the athletic director here at Rogers High School. I believe they'd already named the uh, field house after him, Blackie Bond Field House, so I knew he was probably a pretty good successful coach if you got your name on the field house. That might have happened in my first few years of coaching, but uh, anyway, I knew he was a successful football coach, but he was our athletic director, and I was interviewing for the cross-country position. 